iOS developers. So in the previous tutorial, we created launch file, we did our config file, we added transmission to our URDF, and we were also able to use RQT Gray. But in this tutorial that we are doing now, the fifth video in the series of Rust Control, what I'm going to be showing you is how to write a publisher script that will control your joints. Okay, let's get started. So what we need to do is we need to navigate into your robot control package we created earlier and we want to create a Python file, the script inside SRC. So I'm inside it already. I just do touch control.py. Okay, so if you check the file is not executable, so I need to make the file executable or else Ross is not going to see it. So it's then I do control. So now you can see there is a difference between you can see the color change. So the file is executable now. I can now open it. So basically, I just want to start from a template that I have here. So basically, to do that, you can just do, come to Google and just say Ross Python Publisher. You can click on the first or second link you see and you just come here and let's just make use of this code as a starter code for us and we make some modifications okay so now remember the type of our topic is float uh, the i mean the message type in our topic is float 64 so you change that this string i change it to float 64 okay but our topic is not chatter in this case our topic is a topic is not chatter our topic is something else so we check our topic name so this is our topic name let us just copy and i come here i remove chatter and okay so we, we are not making use of this guy so basically i can just call this pub i can call it publisher for joint theory so i can change my rate to 50 ads okay so now the position i want to publish is the position i want to publish is um let's just publish 1.5 for now and i can put pos here for okay so it's actually so but remember we change the name of our publisher so pub joint theory Okay, with this I think we are fine so we can now go back to our terminal we launch gazebo so I also need to navigate to the to the file I created I want to launch it I want to run the file too so robot control okay so cd src robot control cd src ls okay so from here now i can as I can run my Python file so I can now come to my gazebo that I've opened already remember my gazebo is on post so I play it I want to see it's been published already it's publishing a topic is it's publishing a value to the joint theory so once I play it I expect it to move to that position so we can see now it moves to the position so what I can do is I can actually stop what is being published and I can come back to my script and I can do something like okay I can do I 
I can do something like um let's see so it's publishing 1.5 I can say okay go back to minus 1.5 for now and I can do was by dot log okay let me check yes was by dot log info so started publishing okay so now we are good to go I can run my file from here also So I come to my gazebo. So we can see the way it moves. So there's something else we can also do. We can make it to continuously move. So we just so it all depends on how innovative you are with your Python script. It's not really about ROS or gazebo now again. So what we can do is we can initialize a start position we call it start at 0, 0.0 we cannot say that okay so in this loop i say start loss equals to 0, 0.01 so i can do something like this sign of i of start okay so but so i need to import the package from math import sign so from math import sign i think everything is cool now so increment after each time step by 0 0.01 okay 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 so we are good to go So let's check oh let's check our file if it's running first okay sign is not defined from math import sign okay let's just import let's import math and do math dot sign okay i think this is going to work Okay, so it started publishing, so we can see the sinusoidia movement. We should be able to observe the sinusoidia movement. So we can see now that it's moving sinusoidia sinusoidially. So we can actually it's a bit slow, so we can change the angle moved at each time step. So let's stop publishing. We can just change it to 0 0.05 and we start publishing again so let's check our gazebo scripts okay so these are gazebo we can see the way it's moving now so we can also do the same for other joints so i can do the same for other joints i can do for joint two for joint one and it's going to be publishing to that joint and by so doing it's going to be making it move with whatever form of movement you are specified okay see you in the next tutorial